What's going on guys, this is Will from NC Alarms, and this is System Test 1. So as you can see, we have my brand new panel here, the Firelight MS9200 UVLS. And the title screen there, I should say, the uh, the banner reads NC Alarms, System All Normal, as you can see. So let's have a look at this panel. Obviously, this is the interface board. This panel is incredibly flexible. Love it already. I've had to repair it a little bit, but that's okay. Um, this panel has four NACs, three programmable relays, uh, one SLC, which supports 99 modules, which includes pulse stations, and 99 detectors. So, it's pretty expansive. Uh, best for moderate-sized applications, or in the modern day, smaller size, depending on where you live. Anyhow, <clears throat> as you can see, we got four buttons, acknowledge, silence, drill, and reset. We will probably use all of them today. <clears throat> yeah, enough said about the panel. Uh, I did have to repair this, do some circuit board repair. It took forever to do, that's why this system test took so long to get out. But thankfully it did, so that I could actually put this system on the wall. I was planning to do it on some sort of demo board initially, but uh, I decided, you know what, might as well do it all the way if we're going to do it at all. So let's go ahead and move on to the first pulse station. As you can see here we have the 425120. <coughs> conventional pull station with a mini module behind it. That part you can't see, but you don't need to. Um, this is the only pull station in the system, so when I said first pull station, I meant the pull station. The other initiating device spot I decided to remove because the wiring was incredibly inconvenient and not safe. So that is my reasoning for removing that pull station. Let's go to the second initiating device. As you can see up here we have my new addressable smoke detector, my SD355. I got this from the same place that I got my panel and the mini module behind the pulse station. This is the last initiating device in the system and is detector number one. Let's go ahead and move on to the notification devices. If the detector is on the ceiling then the not both notification devices must be on the wall. And they are. The two notification devices today were chosen by Utah Alarms. Please go subscribe to his channel. I will not link it in the description, but please do go check it out. Utah, U-T-A-H-A-L-A-R-M-S. <clears throat> All right, these were chosen by him. On the right, we have the Wheelock MT4 24 LSM VFR fixed 1575 Candela strobe, and it is doing California code, uh, controlled by the panel. And the Wheelock AS 24 WFW on the left is doing code 3 by means of Wheelock sync, and is able to do audible silence. Understanding that my state no longer allows audible silence, um, I still have it doing audible silence anyway because this is not a life safety system. With that being said, do not pull fire alarms unless uh, it is an, there is an actual emergency in a building. I am not responsible for your actions. I also advise when I tell you later not to watch this particular part of the video that you not watch the, that particular part of the video if you are light sensitive or you think you may or know you have photoepileptic disorder. Last thing I want to show you before we set this off is my junction box. As you can see, it reads conjunction, junction, what's your function? Which I thought was just kind of cute to do with the junction box. So today we're going to be activating the system with the smoke detector. So, here we go.
The notification devices are silenced. Strobe still flashing. Um, you will get to see the notification devices activate when I use the drill button to activate the system. Since I'm already panned over on these, I will reactivate the alarms with the drill button. Alright, I did mention that the MT is on California code, which basically means that it alarms for 10 seconds, shuts off for 5 seconds, and then alarms for 10 again. Alright, last thing we'll do is the pull station. So, here we go. Here we are at the pull station. This is the Simplex 4250120. We're going to activate it by pulling it. So, in 3, 2, one. If you're curious as to why the AS takes so much longer to silence than the MT does, it's because it's a sync device. The synchronization on the Firelight addressable panels takes quite a while to silence it because they don't have the instant silence like my homemade panel does. So that's just one of the advantages of having your own homemade sync is that you can control when the device is silenced and how long that delay is. Also I should take this time that if you're, to say that if you're enjoying this video, make sure that you drop a like below and also subscribe to the channel. I would really ap appreciate it because it allows people just like you to see this video too. So. It's a great thing to do. Well, since we're nearing the end of the video, there's only one thing left to do. Scroll through the alarms a little bit. We've got an evac, alarm pull station, north pole, that's what I named that pull station, south smoke, 1D001, 1M001, M stands for module, D stands for detector, and drill active. Silence and system, NAC1, NAC2, NAC3, and 4. And we can go back to the first event by pressing the first event button. Alright, last thing to do for today is reset. And as you can, I don't know if you could see it, but the strobes did stop flashing. Now we can lock up the panel and wait for it to initialize so that you guys can see that system normal screen pop right back up. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you drop a like below, rate, comment, and subscribe, as I said before, so that people just like you can see this video too, because that's a great thing to do. Last thing I do want to say is that I'm going to try to get as many system tests out as I can in the next uh, couple of months. It's going to be very difficult because I don't have a lot of time at home to be able to make these videos like this. So. I just really appreciate the support during this time because baseball season can get incredibly difficult to make videos, so do not expect a regular upload schedule until I have some time alone or whatever the case may be. So, because not only do I have to get home after baseball and do my homework, but I also have to be able to find some time where I'm home alone. I'm sure that you understand why, because these things are so noisy. Um, I have to have some time home alone as well, and that's very difficult to get with baseball season. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it so, so much. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, and happy Friday.